Welcome to the OSTO's online course evaluation system. This is a brief introduction to the course evaluation system to help you navigate and utilize it as a guide for the development of your online course. It is strongly recommended that you complete all sections of the roadmap to teaching innovation Blackboard course before you begin the design and development of your course for submission here. There are a couple of ways to access the system. Open your browser, type www.ostos.cuny.edu slash online and press enter. Once in the online learning website, mouse over to the faculty menu and click on the online course evaluation system drop down menu item. This link will take you to the online course evaluation system where you will be able to log in using your OSTOS credentials, the same you use to check your email, by clicking on the login button right below the OSTOS bridge banner. After logging in, you will see your developer dashboard where you will see information about the courses you have created and submitted for evaluation. You also have the option to create a new course for development and evaluation by clicking on the Add New Course button. This will take you to the course submission form where your name and department information will already be pre-populated. You will add the information of the course, subject, catalog number, and class title. You also need to choose the instruction mode, hybrid or asynchronous, and the semester when the course will be offered. When done, click on the Create button. Make sure all the required fields are filled before you submit. Once the course is created in the system, it will take you to the online course development checklist. This checklist is based on the online course development guidelines and you will be able to click on the information icon next to each of the categories, requirement types, and course components for more details. You can also access the complete course development guidelines by clicking on the guidelines link. As you start developing your online course, you can check each of the course components in the checklist once you have it in your course. You will notice that the course components that are part of the general core requirements will show a required tag. Notice that you will be able to keep track of your progress at the top of the screen, where you will see the percentage of completing each of the three requirement types. Also notice that there is a progress report feedback column, where you will see the comments from your mentor or instructional designer as you are developing your online course. Once you complete going through the checklist, you will be asked to confirm that you have completed the Roadmap to Teaching Innovation course, and add any comments if you need to share any information about your course with the evaluators. The last step is to submit your course for evaluation. Notice that for this example, the Submit button appears disabled. If you click on the information icon, it tells you that the submit button will be available after you filled out the required course components. Let's do that now. Now that we have checked all the required course components, we see that the submit button is enabled and we will be able to submit the course for evaluation. Click submit and hit enter. You are done. This will take you to the developer dashboard where you will see you have one course submitted for evaluation. Also, you can see below the status of your course and more details. You can always click on the course name to go back to the submission form to make any changes or check the progress report feedback to see feedback notes from your mentor.